a recording uh, going through and strengthening the Kundalini and also strengthening the central meridian and then making the two become coherent and merge the two together. So let's do that. Let's just take in a deep breath. And let it all go. Take in another deep breath. And let it all go. As you breathe in, just imagine that you're bringing in infinite possibilities. And as you breathe out, you are letting go of anything and everything that does not support you in this moment. And as you do this breathing, make sure that both feet, both of your feet, the soles of your feet are touching the floor because we are, shortly, we are going to be doing the Kundalini meditation. And Kundalini meditation, we really want to ground our energy with Mother Earth because our body is really Mother Earth's baby. So when our feet are touching the ground, it makes this process so much easier. So continue to breathe in and out just a little bit longer before we begin as much as possible allow your body to relax so now let us begin by breathing in as we breathe in bring in universal energy And as you breathe out, bring in 0 0.01 energy from the earth. Breathe in pure love from the universe. And as you breathe out, bring out 0 0.01 energy from the earth all the way to the top of your head. And as you breathe in from the top of your head, allow the pure love energy to go all the way down to the base of your spine. And as you breathe out, let go anything that does not support you as you bring in 0 0.01 energy all the way to the top of your head. We just focus in on your breathing. Breathe in. Take your time. Allow the self to go to a count of five. So breathe in to the count of five. And give yourself five counts to bring in pure love energy from the universe all the way to the base of your spine. Last, breathe out. Bring up 0 0.01 energy to the count of five so that 
is 0.01 MGS all the time it needs to go to the top of your head. Or you start to breathe like that for a little bit longer, bringing in from the top of your head pure love all the way down to the base of your spine. And as you breathe out, bring energy of Mother Earth 0.01 from the base of your spine all the way up to the top of your head. And after a while, all you have to focus on is simply breathing in and breathing out. Now set the intention for all the energy that you are bringing into your body. Set the intention that you want to strengthen your Kundalini energy. Start with first chakra, the perineum. Allow that the first chakra on the Kundalini to become strong to spin at exactly the right speed for the first chakra to become vibrant. And allow the first chakra to become as Thick as it needs to be in order to support your Kundalini, to support the rest of your energy centers within your body. And now let's go to the second chakra, which is at the tip of your tailbone, tip of your cossacks. Second chakra. Allow this chakra to spin just at the right speed in order for the second chakra to become vibrant. And to support the rest of your Kundalini energy. And to support your body and your consciousness. A 
And now move up to your third chakra, two inches above your belly button, towards the back. Allow your third chakra to spin just as at the right speed, clockwise. Be able to support this chakra to become vibrant and also to support the rest of your Kundalini pathway and to support your body to be healthy. And now move up to your fourth chakra between your nipples towards the back, close to where your spine is. And allow this chakra to spin at the speed that is just perfect for the fourth chakra in order for it to become vibrant and to support your heart and to support the rest of your Kundalini pathway. And now move up to the fifth chakra, close to where your first thoracic bone is on your spine and allow the fifth chakra to spin just at the right speed to support your Kundalini to become healthy and also your body to become healthy and vibrant. And now move up to your sixth chakra. That is between your eyebrows, just underneath your skull. Allow this chakra to spin at just the right speed in order for this sixth chakra to become vibrant to be able to support the rest of your Kundalini energy pathway and to support your body to be healthy and vibrant. Now move up to seventh chakra this chakra is where all the bones in your skull meets just slightly to the back of the top of your head allow the seventh chakra to spin at the speed that will support this chakra to become vibrant and to support the rest of your kundalini, of your body, to become healthy and vibrant. And now let's go over to the central meridian, to energy center number eight, which is eight inches above the top of your head, right in the middle of the top of your head, eight inches above. And as you breathe in, 
imagine this energy center number eight to be spinning just at the right speed, anti-clockwise, for this energy center to become vibrant and to be bringing in energy from the galaxy and from source, from the creator source, to be able to support the rest of the central meridian to become vibrant. And let's now move down to energy center number seven on the central meridian, which is four inches above the top of your head in the middle. Allow the energy number seven to become strong and vibrant and spin at just the right speed anti-clockwise. in order to support the rest of the central meridian. To become strong. Now let's move to energy center number six, which is between your eyebrows and in the middle of the head. Allow this energy center number six to become strong and vibrant. Allow it to spin at just the right speed that it needed to spin at in order for it to become strong and vibrant. And now move down to energy center number five. That is just between the middle of your throat, between the clavicle, but in the middle of your neck, energy center number five. Allow this energy center to become vibrant, and to spin just at the right speed for it to become strong, to bring in pure love. to support the rest of the central meridian. Now let's go to energy center, number four, which is between your nipples, but in the middle. Of your body. Your spiritual heart, energy center number four. And now the spiritual heart, this energy center number four to spin just at the right speed in order to support the rest of the central meridian. And to allow this energy center number four to become vibrant. And now move down to energy center number three, two inches above your navel and in the middle of your body. 
energy number three. Allow energy center number three to spin just at the right speed in order for it to be vibrant and strong. To be able to support energy coming down from energy center number eight and also coming up. from the earth as well. And let's now move to energy center number two. Which is where your sacrum is in the middle but in the middle of your body. Allow this energy center number two to spin just at the right speed for this energy center to become vibrant and strong. to be able to support the rest of your central meridian energy pathway. Now let's move down to energy center number one, which is four inches below your first chakra, four inches beyond your physical body so that this energy center number one can bring in energy from earth, from mother earth to nurture you. to allow energy center number one to spin at just the right speed in order for this energy center to be vibrant, healthy, and be able to support the rest of the central meridian. And now that both the Kundalini and the Central Meridian. Both energy pathways are active and vibrant. Central Meridian and Kundalini coherence activate. Continue to hold the intention to allow the central meridian and the kundalini coherence activate. Central Meridian and Kundalini coherence activate. Thank you. 
Enter Meridian and Kundalini. Coherence activate. Central Meridian and Kundalini coherence activate. Allow yourself to feel these two energy, major energy pathways come coherent. However you feel is absolutely perfect. Just relax and keep on breathing. Let's do this one more time. Central Meridian and Kundalini. Coherence activate. Central Meridian and Kundalini, merge, activate. Central Meridian and Kundalini merge, activate. Central Meridian and Kundalini merge, activate. Keep on breathing in pure love. And as you breathe out, bring in 0 0.01 energy.
up when you feel. When these two energy pathways are merged within you is absolutely perfect. And this is merging these two major pathways within the body of your psyche. So take a deep breath in now. Let it all go. And slowly allow yourself To come up reluctantly, most likely. And when you're ready, come all the way back into the room and open your eyes if you're not already, they are not already open. <laughs>